Hey there, Tigers. The next thing that we're going to look at is your success in college. Please keep in mind that college is going to take a lot of work and dedication on your behalf. If you ever have any questions, whether it be about your degree audit, your bill, your classes, or navigation of any of our systems, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us. So we are here to help you, and we want to make sure that you are successful. We can only help as long as we know there is a problem. So just keep that in mind, that if you ever have any problems, please reach out to your advisor, whether they are an admissions representative or a faculty advisor. We are here to help and help you with those roadblocks that might pop up. The next thing that we're going to look at is making that transition to the college lifestyle. I will be honest, the first semester is usually the hardest for incoming college students, regardless if you're doing online, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, or synchronous learning. I say that this is usually the hardest semester because all of you are coming from different situations. For our high school students, you are used to that environment where you are told to go to school Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 310. For some adults who are coming back to college or doing online, you are used to not having any, you know, classes to log into or anything like that. During your first semester, you're going to learn a lot about time management and how that applies to you, what kind of learner you are to determine whether online classes are a good fit or face-to-face -face classes or a hybrid format is something that's better for you. Just keep in mind that you are choosing to be here. Your success and your failure is dependent upon you. You hold the key to this. Just remember that if your classes start at a certain time, if you're face-to-face, -face, synchronous, or hybrid, that you need to be there on time. Do not walk in the class 25 minutes late if your class is only 45 minutes. For online students, please remember to log in on Monday and kind of see what your class, your work schedule is going to be for that week. Now for online students, you can log in at any point in that week and complete your work as long as you're completing your work by the due date. For me, I was always a night owl, so I was always up at midnight doing my work or later. But you can log into the online classes anywhere, all day, any day of the week. So just remember your due dates, which are located in your syllabus. Your syllabus is going to be key for all of you, regardless of your class format. This is where you can find information about the grading scale, class projects, and due dates. Make sure that you are reviewing your syllabus when classes start and throughout the semester to make sure you're not missing any important dates. After the first semester, you're going to have a good idea of what kind of learning environment works best for you and also how to manage your time better. Just remember that this is an evolving process and this can change from sem semester to semester based on your schedule and life events. Also keep in mind during your first semester, you will be learning new skills and attitudes. An attitude plays an important part during your college career. If you go into a class because you believe you know what it's going to be about or if you heard bad things about the instructor with a bad attitude, expect that to be your attitude going in. Expect that to be reflected in the work that you submit and the grades that you receive. Sometimes having a change of attitude can make a difference in your classes and also in your personal life. Also remember that your instructors are your partners in learning. They are here to help. They are teaching because they love the subject matter that they are presenting to you. If you ever have any questions over the content or if you need help, go to them first to see what advice they can give you. Don't wait until the last week of class during the semester to finally ask those questions. The earlier that you develop that relationship with your instructors, the better off you will be. As always, your advisors, whether they're an admissions representative or a faculty advisor, is also here to help you on this journey. If you have questions, please reach out to us. If you're having problems with your classes, for example, you just can't get up for an 8 o'clock class, or you, you're missing your due dates in your online class, let us know. We can help you with these roadblocks that you're going to encounter, and we can give you advice. That's why we're here. But communication is key, and that will help you be successful as you continue your first semester all the way through graduation. Another important aspect to the college life is making sure that you're spending the correct, time of, um, correct amount of time studying throughout the week. Keep in mind the number of credits times two is the hours per week you're supposed to be spending. 
So for example, if you're taking 12 credit hours, expect to spend 24 hours a week studying. Now, this might change depending on what class you're taking and the amount of work that you have, but this is a good ballpark on what to expect. Now, will this be the case every semester? No. Sometimes you might have more credit hours or less credit hours depending on your rotation of classes, but this gives you an idea of what to expect and how much time you need to reserve to prepare for your classes and be successful. This ballpark can also be a good indicator on whether or not you would like to add or if you feel it would be better to take away from your schedule. Now, I will say that some of your courses might not require this rule, but going into your classes and having this expectation can better prepare you for the whole semester. Once again, if you have questions or anything once the semester gets started, please do not hesitate to contact your advisor as we are here to help. I understand that this might seem like a large amount of time to be spending on your classes, but once you get into a routine of things, whether it be that you want to wake up earlier and maybe work on your work or maybe stay up a little later, it will get easier and will become second nature for you. Keep in mind that your first semester, this is a whole new learning process for you. You are adding something else to your lifestyle right now. So don't feel that you're gonna have this down within the first one, first one or two weeks of class. This is something that will evolve over the semester. Just remember time management will play a big factor in how well you do in your classes. Once again, the key here is communication. If you have any questions or concerns about anything, you need to reach out to your advisor or your instructor who can better assist you.